In this video, I will demonstrate the configuration required in Oracle Cloud to set up connectivity between Oracle Cloud and Enterprise Manager using the EM Cloud Bridge feature. This video is part one of a three-part series. Let's get started. First, let's create a bucket to store the data coming from Enterprise Manager. In Oracle Cloud, go to the navigation menu, click Storage, and then click Buckets. Select the compartment and then click Create Bucket. Enter a name and then click Create. Click the bucket name to view the details. When I create the Cloud Bridge in the Enterprise Manager console, I will need to enter the bucket name and the object storage URL. During this process, there are several things I will make a note of to use later when I set up Enterprise Manager. Now, let's make a note of the bucket name. To create the object storage URL, I can use this URL and replace the region name. You can find this object storage URL in the video description below. Next, let's create a user that will push the data from Enterprise Manager to the bucket in Oracle Cloud. To create an Oracle Cloud user, go to the navigation menu and then go to Identity and Security and click Users. Click Create User. Enter a username and a description and then click Create. Next, to give this user permission to push data to the bucket, I add this user to a group and write a policy for that group. To create the group, go to the navigation menu, click Identity and Security, and then click Groups. Click Create Group. Enter a group name, a description, and then click Create. Now, click Add User to Group. And then I select the CloudBridge user I created in the previous step. Click Add. Next, let's write a policy for this group. Go to Identity, then click Policies. Now, click Create Policy. Enter a policy name and a description. Slide the Policy Builder toggle to turn on Show Manual Editor. You can copy this policy from the description below this video. And then replace the group name and the compartment name with the values for your instance. Click Create. Next, let's add an API key to the user. This API key will be used by Enterprise Manager to authenticate this Oracle Cloud user. Go to the navigation menu, click Identity and Security, and click Users, and then click the username. Now, click API Keys. Click Add API Key. In this example, I will generate an API key pair and then click Download Private Key. After the download is complete, click Add. Next, copy and note the configuration file details. This contains the OCID, the fingerprint, and the tenancy details. This will be required in the Enterprise Manager console to set up the cloud bridge. If I need to view these details another time, I can go to this vertical ellipse and then click View Configuration File. Next, let's open the private API key file that was previously downloaded and then copy the API private key. Now, we have all the details required to set up the Cloud Bridge in Enterprise Manager. In the next video, part two, I will demonstrate the next step in this process, which is to set up the Enterprise Manager side of the Cloud Bridge. You can find links to the videos for the next steps in this process in the description below this video.